Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can find out about more videos as they come out. Hi, I'm Robert Cothy. And I'm Kathy Cothy. And this is Zeta. She is a rescue dog from North Shore Animal League. And Kathy is the holder of the Guinness World Record for Garfield Collectibles. In honor of the 40th birthday for Garfield, we want to put together the 40 of our favorite items. Now, these are not necessarily the best items ever made from Garfield, but it happens to be our personal favorites. So, number 40. Number 40 is going to be uh, Jim Davis's new book, Garfield Age Happens, uh, Garfield Hits the Big 4-0. But since that is not, actually not available in stores yet, and I don't have a copy, I'm going to show you one of the more recent books that I do have from Jim, uh, The Art of Jim Davis. And, you know, everybody always asks me why I like Garfield, and I always say I like Garfield because of his sayings and his wit and his, his um, arrogance and his uh, sarcasm. And I just wanted to show you one of the things from this book that I like so much. Uh, did you see the way she dialed out for pizza? And Garfield says, marry this woman. Number 39 is more of like a Muncie theme, because Garfield is Indiana-based uh, in Muncie, Indiana. We recently acquired a, uh, a, a, a Rotary Muncie Club. Rotary Club banner that uh, the artist was originally from Muncie, designed with permission from Paws, a sign for the Rotary Club. And for people who follow Garfield, you might recognize Garfield with his little bow tie. Uh, if you've ever done the Muncie Trail and have seen any of the statues, this is the one at the uh, train station in Sweetster. I probably pronounced that wrong. I apologize to you uh, Indianians. And in honor of that one, I'm wearing our Muncie shirt that we acquired from the Muncie's Vis Visitors Bureau in a, one of our several visits to the Indiana area. All right, number 38. What is number 30? Number 38 is, is packaging. We all know Happy Meal toys, different um, items that you can buy in any store that pretty much anybody could get very easily. But if you could get the packaging that goes with it, that is definitely key and definitely makes things more more rare, more valuable. Uh, so this is just some of the packaging that I've gotten through the years. These obviously have toys that go with them. Uh, this is uh, the... Um, Purchase a kid's meal. This this is also the uh, I think this was a foreign uh, Wendy's that I've never I've never seen these toys so this must be a foreign Wendy's market and then these are we're just acquiring these from the local Dollar Tree I found out about these on the Garfield collector site so I've been in search of these uh, looks like the, only the Midwest was going to have them and then they finally started turning up in our Dollar Tree just a couple days ago so obviously you have to buy the entire thing plus the box if you're a true collector. So right over here, for example, hardware stores were selling Garfield keys and Garfield keychains and we acquired the entire retail signage um, including the metal rack and the packaging. So it adds value to it, it adds interest and it's something that hardware stores would probably throw out or repopulate or throw out the cardboard and use the the hooks for something else. So later down the years, packaging becomes more and more scarce. And we have lots more packaging throughout the house as examples. So the number 37 item, okay. Well, we're trying to make a family-friendly video. So I affectionately call this the what were they thinking kitty toy. This is the what were they thinking kitty toy. And we'd like to make it a family-friendly video, so we're going to let you use your but, imagination. But if you could just imagine sitting around the conference room at pause, and they were like, yeah, we need one more item to approve for the day before we can all go home. This is it. Yes, let it go, let it go. It's perfect. So that's that. Uh, number 36, finally. And I don't want to drop this around Zeta, so I'm going to put her away, put her down. This is obviously a bowling ball, uh, not drilled, so it does not lose any of its collector value. So you have Garfield in the front, and then of course Garfield in the back as well. Um, this is probably one of maybe four or five bowling balls that Paws has made throughout the years. Uh, I actually acquired this one in Nashua, New Hampshire a couple years ago. 
uh, for Thanksgiving. We always go see Rob's parents. And one of the activities that we do uh, as part of our forced family fun is bowling on Friday. And we were leaving the bowling alley and at the corner of my eye, I see orange and I turn and I, I can't believe that it's a Garfield bowling ball. Who would have thought of all places, Nashua, New Hampshire. So being the great husband that Rob is, he ran into the pro shop and said, I'll take it. And they said, what do you mean you'll take it? You have to get it drilled. Out. No, no, no. I don't want it drilled. I just, I just need the ball. My wife is a collector. So that's number 35, uh, 36. I'm sorry, 36 on our collection. So check back again. We're going to be dripping these out five items at a time uh, on behalf of the 40th birthday. And uh, thank you very much. Also, as a final tribute to David Letterman, who happens to, to the Muncie, Indiana area, or the, from the Indiana era, era, uh, area, Robert talking. And as a final tribute to uh, David Letterman, uh, and some of the older people might get this reference, but go for it. But also a little background story. Uh, David Letterman and Jim Davis both went to Ball State University. I believe they both have the distinction of having one of the, or both of them having the lowest GPA average uh, at the school. So just as a little homage to Dave Letterman, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can find out about more videos as they come out.